hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we're going to be showing you how to set up a stripe payment link now before we, um today you could not be able to receive payments into stripe without the help of coding or some kind of complicated setup but from now on without any code you can easily set up a product inside of stripe and receive payments for that product without using any external software and that's what i'll be showing you how to do by the end of this video so without further ado let's get into it so the first thing that you need to know is that you have to have a stripe account if you don't have a stripe account we have a guide for you to get a stripe account but for this video we're going to be talking about people who already have a stripe account so the first thing that you want to do is go to this particular um, link here it's stripe payment links and you see that they have an entire page explained explaining exactly what it is but i'm just going to go in and show you what it is so when you log into your stripe account this is what it will mostly look like like if you have payments inside it will look like this and this is how everything is and then all you have to do is click on product so when you click on product it will load this page right here and if you don't have product um this place will be empty and if you do have products they will show up like this so now what you want to do is on the sidebar here you want to click on payment links and it will open up this page for you so this is really cool because you see i haven't set up any payment links yet and then um you see that it says start selling fast no code required so the first thing that you need to do is click on create payment link now it's going to ask you to add a product if you don't have any product you can create one so let's call um the product global payments and then we'll say add global payments as a new product so once you do that it's going to ask you for a couple of information so the first thing is going to say you want to upload an image and of course we want to do that so we're going to look for a nice image here to upload oh it needs a it needs a smaller image so i'm just going to find a small image here and upload and that helps because it makes your checkout look nicer and it's asking me to confirm my password so i'm going to confirm my password and then it will upload the picture then you can add the description of what you're selling and you can say one course to teach you how to make money online great the next thing is going to ask you is what is the price of the product we're just going to say 997 then they're going to ask you if it's a recurring payment or it's a one-time payment so if it's a recurring payment it means that it's like a subscription where the payment will repeat over and over again so if i click on recurring you see it's going to ask me how often this is going to happen and that's one of the reasons why stripe is so good because it's a bit more flexible than most other platforms when it comes to setting up complex payment systems or subscriptions so you can choose daily you can choose weekly monthly every three months every six months you can choose yearly or you can just select custom and then you can determine how you want it to look there are also additional options like the price description as well but for this one we're just going to say it's a one-time payment for simplicity's sake and then once you do that you can click on add product so once you do that you see that it's showing you the preview of what it is going to look like when you send somebody the link which is really important you want to see what it looks like so that you see what you're sending to your clients and your customers so it also has the mobile version of what the page will look like when you're using stripe payment links and you can see that the person has the opportunity to put their email address and card information as well as the name on their card and all other information that you require now there are a few customizations that you can make to this stripe payment link which will lead to a stripe checkout page the first thing is that you can allow promotion codes so if you want to use like a coupon code maybe you give a special coupon code to certain customers then you can enable that and you see we have an add promotion code option on the page now then you can also allow the customer to adjust the quantity of what they are buying so let's say you're selling a physical product and let's say it's like a shirt and it has um somebody can buy more than one this is how you would add it so you say let customers adjust the quantity of what they are purchasing you can also require 
customer's address now i highly recommend that if you're using stripe you collect at least one address from your customers it also helps you with fraud protection to make sure that the address that is on on registered with the bank for that particular card is what the person is imputing as they are purchasing so in case somebody is trying to use a stolen card to purchase a product or a service from you it will be obvious now you can choose to receive um to request only their billing address or you can request both the billing address and shipping address now shipping address is necessary if you're going to be shipping a physical product you can also select the shipping countries like where you want to ship you see all all the countries are right here and then you can select all of them and you can also select them based on the continents as well which makes selecting quite easy and then if you're not doing any shipping you can just skip this i usually like to ask for at least the billing address now once you're done you can take one good look at it and then you can create the link but before i hit the create link button you can see here they said change how this page looks in branding settings so stripe has a branding setting area for you to choose how your brand will look like whenever you send out invoices whenever you send out stripe payment links and stripe checkout links so i'm just going to click on create link now mind you once you've created the link that's it you can't delete it you can only archive it so now we have our link ready to go and we're ready to receive payment so i'm just going to click on copy here so that we can take a look at the link and see what it looks like so when I hit enter, you see that this is what the, pay, um, the payment link now looks like. We have the product on one side and then on this other side, we're going to see the information that people are going to require. Now, second thing is that Stripe actually allows your customers to save their information so that they can pay faster next time. Although it does require them to verify um, via phone to make sure that they are securely saving their information and they are actually the ones who want to save this information so this is really cool because you can receive payments easily rather than if you don't have the funds to pay for a checkout platform then this works really well because you can just create a link inside of stripe send it to a client and they can pay instantly now um, something to note is that currently Stripe does not integrate with anything like so Stripe payment link does not integrate with anything as yet. So if you want to trigger, say, an email automation or confirmation email, or if you want to deliver something like a digital goods after um, somebody pays with the stripe payment link you will need to use something like zapier so that's something to keep in mind but if you're offering a service or your somebody's paying for a one-on-one -on -one consultation a coaching call or something along those lines this is a very very easy way for you to get that done now let's look at the branding aspect of um stripe so under the branding, you see that we have a couple of branding elements here. And what it helps you do is that it helps you choose the colors that go with your brand so that when somebody is using any of your links or looking at the invoices that you send them, everything will keep that professional look and always look the way you want it to according to how you determine what your brand should look like. So I'm just going to go with a gray here. And then the accent color, which will most likely be used for buttons, can also be changed. And let's just go for a green here, like a dark green, not too dark, but a dark green. And that will be our accent color. So here you can see this is what it will look like on the checkout page. This is what it looks like in the customer portal. And this is what it looks like for a hosted invoice. So this is the branding aspect. You can also add your icon. You can add the logo to make it more customized and look professional. Once you've done all of this, you want to click on save changes so that it maintains the changes that you've already made and um, it will apply to everything that you have moving forward. So if I was if I if I refresh refresh this page right here you see that it has updated with the new branding colors and everything looks good. Now, the third thing I want you guys to remember when you're setting up a Stripe payment link is the email aspect of um, Stripe. So if you scroll down here, you see where, where it's called emails and you have the opportunity to turn on these particular toggles now this is really important because you want to be um want to e email your customers when there's a successful payment you also want to email them if there's a case of a refund uh, and you want to add options for people to be able to 
do anything like manage their emails invoicing payments and all of those things the second thing that you need to do inside of this part of stripe is the email domain so currently any emails that go out from stripe when somebody buys or a payment fails and all of that it goes to stripe.com so if somebody looks at the email the sender is going to be from stripe now if you want to edit this particular email then you want to add your own custom domain to stripe if you want to keep that professional look and you want to add your sender email from your domain as well, then you want to add a domain from uh, whatever domain you're using to sell inside of here. Verify the details as you need to in order to set up Stripe sending. But just so you know, Stripe is a very co popular company and it has high levels of trust. So even if somebody sees Stripe inside of your emails when they receive their receipts and all of those things, it will still be fine. So that's how you set up Stripe. And now you can share this payment link as many times as possible for somebody to make a purchase from you into your Stripe account. Now, um, if for any reason you're done selling this particular product and you don't want to sell it anymore, all you have to do is come to product payment links, come to the three dots here and you deactivate. So the moment you deactivate it, it will no longer be live and active for people to make purchases. So when somebody um, tries to make a purchase, they'll let them know that this particular um order form is deactivated and it doesn't work anymore so that's it for stripe checkout if you're looking for any information about stripe receiving payments then this is the channel for you you want to like subscribe and share with a friend and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye